All right, guys, welcome back. Oh, it's another way up. Shit, this ain't good. The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Yes, it is. I'm glad I got four. was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, Wake! You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. It's not done? I need a week. Two days! The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. Not, well, uh, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. Why do I uh, feel like he's lying about having a wife? Barry had talked about birds over the phone. Damn. Equipping us out the ass. I want to see if I can hit them with a...
Damn. Sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. It's all right. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real. The boy got a, a nice fat there. case of writer's block. Or lighter's block. Let's call it lighter's block. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? Well, be there oh the wow, dude, she is definitely corrupted. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the old year diner. Good girl. Oh no, that's definitely copyright. I'm sorry, guys. The last one was copyright. Why? Why do video games have these copyrighted music? Mm. Pretty, please. I'm just going to sing it to you guys. No, I'm not. I'm not. You guys don't want to hear me sing. Has been kidnapped. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer! You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. It's so dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah, is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true. And get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Mm. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island.
gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. So what are like well mister this here's rose's trailer you mind me asking what you want with her we're just here to talk to her pal i heard to pick up my manuscript bro yes yeah, so i'm guessing maybe that tom is sane and the loopy lady i forgot her name already um since they're writers also i guess the shit they were writing came true in this town what a creepy ass town. It's daytime. What's the worst that could happen? Mr. Wake, I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Shit. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. Hey, this is really good! Rose. Yes? My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. Amused to inspire you. Five bucks that she drugged the coffee. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Uh, here we go. Oh. Barry! What? That's why you don't drink anything from strangers, guys. In creepy towns. Where... People go missing, and there's a lake to the underworld. For you, hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. Is that Barbara? You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being I just realized the that's the actual and each day there's less of me and that's the live action Alan Wake but I know she's right that guy on the wall she and she is a super fan Alice this way she knows more that almost looks like a shrine the complex incantation I'm attempting about this place she's worked with another writer under similar circumstances Thomas Zane the genre of the story seems to be shifting it's turning into a horror story I'm getting close I can feel it. Oh my god, excuse me. I'm sorry for your ears, guys. I turned away, but I think it the mic still picked it up. Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. 
All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Oh, we got enough time to... What can I get you today? Rose, what Coffee. the hell did she do to you? I work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First big fella's free. Poor girl. Encounter man. She is really nice. Here today's specials. Thank you. Barry, wake nice you. Day. Fat ass up, bro. Soon. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Get to the car with what? We didn't even get Barry. What the fuck? Oh, it's a radio. It's been a while. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmares. Get some exercise, because this boy got no stamina. Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well... I am the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I've just been staring out of the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Oh, is this the guy from the cell? All right, we have to go through the fence. <clears throat> Stay away, copyright music. What the hell? I heard a baby crying. Oh, you're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI! What in the fuck is going on? You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Nicole. Go 
like, what is up with this FBI agent? This bro is just fucking trying to kill me off that. I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac. What in the fuck? I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Well, I guess I'm on the run with no guns, no flashlights, and no stamina. Get your breath, old man. Why did that FBI agent just fucking unload on me? There he is. Oh, fuck. Whoa. Stay out of flashlight. That boy just fucking loaded his squeeze and he started screaming and he just shot on my ass. Oh, oh. <laughs> Imagine being Alan Wake. A fucking rider with no stamina. Running for your life in the woods. script <coughs> for decades the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison it was hungry and in pain it dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Yo, shut the fuck up, Nightingale, bro. I'm gonna fuck you up. Dude, I'm not a fugitive. I'm looking for my freaking wife. I wasn't under arrest or anything. The suspect is not armed. You're full of shit, Nightingale. I already don't like this guy. I hope he gets turned by the darkness so I can bust a cap in his ass. Rose didn't know how the strange old lady got in her trailer, and she looked wrong somehow. The woman showed her teeth in an approximation of a smile and traced a finger down Rose's cheek. Pretty girl, she said. Rose felt as if she was falling asleep. But her knees didn't buckle. The crone spoke in a whisper, her words ice cold and dark in Rose's ear. Be nice of a gun. Fell out of this cop car that got tossed. Then I'd be armed and dangerous.
All right. I think this is a good spot for us to end it. And then when we return, we'll continue running from the popo. I will see y'all in the next part.